What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be the re this will be the recap for The Last of Us Season 1, Episode 3. Episode 3 starts in the woods from a POV shot, and then we see Joel stacking rocks by a river. He's somewhere 10 miles west of Boston, as the screen kindly lets us know. Joel wanders back through the woods to Ellie, who is waiting for him. He tosses some food to her from his backpack. Joel is very unresponsive and, of course, seems very distraught still over Tess's recent demise. And Ellie tells him not to blame her for Tess's death when it isn't her fault. Joel tells Ellie they have they have a they have a while left to go on their hike and the two carry on through the woods on their hike. Ellie asks Joel why he had a scare or a scar on his head and he says someone shot at him once and missed. She tries to talk to him more and he just dismisses her because she asked too many damn questions. Those are those are his exact words. Joel tells Ellie or takes Ellie to an old gas station it seems to collect some supplies he left behind there once many years ago. Ellie goes goes crazy overseeing an old arcade video game inside the shop ellie wanders around the shop while joel tries to remember where he left the supplies ellie finds a hatch in a room and shines her flashlight down the hatch before going down into it down in the hatch ellie is fine at first while she searches for items until she hears a clicker the clicker is unable to do much due to it being nearly dead i'll say ellie approaches it and cuts its forehead with a knife before stabbing it to death Joel starts to call for her and she returns back upstairs, not mentioning anything of what she just did down in that hatch. So then Ellie and Joel continue their hike and Ellie asks how the chaos with the cordyceps started. And Joel says no one is sure, but he knows it wasn't monkeys because Ellie is talking about monkeys <laughs> during this exchange. He begins connecting the spread to food that we eat every day. Ellie says that makes more sense than monkeys. Of course it does. <laughs> We jump to September 30th, 2003, so going back in time because we know this series is set in 2023. Jumping to September 30th, 2003, we are shown a room of where a man named Bill is watching the streets through several monitors in some type of bunker or basement. Bill seems to be hiding from the New World Order that is taking over since the outbreak, aka Fedra. He refers to them just as the New World Order. The man or in this case, Bill makes his way upstairs, leaves his house and makes sure it's safe before driving off in his truck. Uh, Bill collects some supplies in town and heads back home. Bill spots an infected on his monitor while he eats and watches as it falls victim to a trap. Of course, finding humor in this. We jump to 2007 and are still following Bill. Bill goes out to check on a man that has fallen into one of his traps and ask him questions before letting him out. This man is named Frank and he's from the Boston quarantine zone or, or baltimore i believe he said if i'm pretty sure it was boston bill lands or hands him a ladder to uh climb out of the hole and checks to make sure that frank isn't infected he reluctantly takes frank back to his house and lets him shower and gives him new clothes and a meal frank and bill start getting to know each other frank plays bill's piano and frank says that he'll leave after bill plays a song on the piano bill agrees and frank seems to enjoy it he asks who the girl is that Bill is singing about, and Bill says there is no girl before the two start kissing. Frank and Bill eventually have sex. We then jump to 2010, and Frank is storming out of the house from an argument with Bill. Frank is trying to make friends, but Bill isn't wanting to explore that because there are no friends to be had. We then jump to a meal between Tess, Joel, Bill, and Frank. As we learn, these were the folks Frank wanted to invite over. Frank offers to take Tess inside to show her something while Joel and Bill chat outside at the table. Joel tells Bill there are supplies in the QZ he doesn't have access to, and Bill says he has all he needs right here and doesn't need Joel or Tess. Joel and Tess leave, but Joel tells Bill that this housing situation can't last forever and pretty soon raiders are going to come, and Bill says they'll be fine. Yeah, they're not going to be fine. <laughs> we then jump to 2013 with Bill and Frank running for exercise. Frank takes Bill to a strawberry patch that he's grown and the two share a sweet moment together. Later at night, Frank is woken up by an explosion outside, this is the Raiders, and tries to find Bill. Frank ultimately goes outside with a gun to save Bill who is outside defending their property. Bill is shot so Frank takes him inside to help him but Bill passes out from the injury. We then jump to 2023, so we're back in modern times. Frank is wheelchair bound, he's on meds, spends his time painting, and Bill is taking care of him. Frank tells Bill that he's on his last day because he, he I'm, I'm assuming he's, he's sick. He, he has to, I'm assuming he, he must have uh, some type of illness. I, they didn't specify what it is. 
Uh, so I don't want to say what I'm assuming. But if you guys, if you if you caught on to something that I missed, let me know. What does he have? Because this is very different from the game. Bill is struggling to accept this about Frank dying, but Frank talks him through it, telling Bill to make his last day his best day, and he wants to get he wants to get married. By the end of the day, both men share a glass of wine filled with pills that will kill them both. Bill couldn't live without Frank and wants to die with him because he's old and says he's satisfied and says that Frank was his purpose. Ellie and Joel make their way to Bill and Frank's. Joel goes inside of the house with Ellie. Joel tells Ellie to stay put while he goes searching the house. Ellie finds a letter from Bill and gives a key to Joel, confirming that they are both dead. Ellie reads the letter and and it tells Joel to take anything he needs. Also, it tells him to take care of Tess, which also opens up a wound for Joel because Ellie actually tries to skip over this. But Joel takes the letter from her to see what it says that she doesn't want to read. And it says, take care of Tess. Joel ends up finding a car and plans to head to Wyoming in search of uh uncle tommy he tells ellie she can come and set some ground rules first before letting her come with him the two collect some supplies before driving off in the truck now i will say one of the most uh fun fun moments or at least i thought this was a cute moment in this episode was when ellie got into a car and it was her very first time in a car and the way bella ramsey is demonstrating the shock of what a car is through ellie i thought she did a very tremendous job at doing this and it kind of just highlighted how much this generation in this universe has missed out on and how much they do not know about certain things because of the society that they have grown up in that's very different from the society we all know we live in in our own reality so i thought that was a cute little thing to see you guys can let me know what you think about episode three down in the comment section below did you like it did you not like it was it as good as you thought it would be because i know this has been hyped up a lot i will go out of my way to say that this is still yes one of the best episodes of television i've had the pleasure of seeing uh i wouldn't put it up there with with episodes from series like buffy like i'm thinking of episodes like the body or other even more prominent episodes from that same series buffy that i love to talk about so today like the gif uh i don't think it was that good but it was definitely a very technically strong episode with some great sweet moments i, I would say it was the most emotionally uh heartbreaking episode given the relationship between bill and frank but everything about the episode i would say was near perfect it was a solid new addition to the series it's just another banger of an episode as far as i'm concerned and i was satisfied with the radical changes that they did with the frank and bill narrative let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.